Yo, what's going on everyone? It's your boy King J and today we're going to do a guide for King of Fighters 15. So I just wanted to talk to you about a couple things. So this game is a 3v3 fighting game. It's a 1v1 until the full team is KO. So what this means is that you can have three people in your team, but it's on a winner stays on format. So if you beat one person, then the other person in the other team comes in. You can't switch or tag out like that. It's winner stays on. And you can also choose an actual team or make your own team. In game, life bar for each character is 1000 HP, but it's divided by 100. As you can see, there's these small point parts of the HP bar. So that divides into 100. So this is for every character to kind of understand where they are when you're doing combos and stuff like that. So this game has four buttons. It's a four button layout game. So it is light punch, strong punch, light kick, strong kick. And the game is on a 2D plane, which means you cannot do no sidestep. It's only back, forward, up and down. So if I move forward, move back, jump up, crouch. You have your unique or should I say command moves where you could combo and then you have your special moves then you have your EX ones which are usually more powerful and then you have your super special move if you press two buttons usually with these you get a stronger version and they highlight red and then you got the climax So with a level 1 super special move, they glow blue. With a level 2 super special move, they glow red. And with a climax, they glow yellow. You can see that my character has 5 bars, but that's because it's solo. In solo, you can build up to 5 bars. But if you have a team, the first character can only do max 3 bars. The second character could do max 4 bars. And the third character, which is known as an anchor, which we'll get onto later on, has max 5 bars. All right, so there's different states. All right, with float, what it does is that it floats the opponent so that you can get another guaranteed attack combo or you can do a dragon punch, depending on what your character does. So this is very useful when you want to do combos. The ground bounce is hard hitting attacks that hit you on the floor and bounce you up, which allows you to get a guaranteed follow up if you're fast enough. Stun and crumple is when the opponent falls to their knees and then they fall down. If you're quick enough, you're able to get a follow up attack where they're standing. But if you're not quick enough, they will then jump back into safety. Wall bounce smacks your opponent onto the wall and then they bounce off and crumple. Depending on where you are on the stage, you are guaranteed a follow up. I'm going to just basically show you the simple rule of how to do combos in this game. So the simple rule is you do a standing heavy, so it could be a standing heavy punch or kick, and then you mix it with a command move. Now command move are basically moves like either forward light punch or forward light kick. So something like this, let me show you. So this is a standing heavy punch. Now I mix it with a command move and then it combos, right? Now, if I do it with the other move, the only thing I can get from that is dive kick. So you have to be careful on what moves you use when it comes to command moves, because each character has different things. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to now add in a, a special move. So the DP. Fireball. So there you go. Now, if I add in an EX move, let's see what happens. There we go. So, and it, that done a float state. Then you could get more from your combo. Now, you can also do other things. So, you, you can go max mode quick, which takes two bars. Or you could go into Shatter Strike. Yeah. 
So it's entirely up to you which way you want to do it. Shatter Strike takes half a bar. So this is what another thing I want to show you. Look. Right? Half a bar. And then on top of it, you can do... Alright. So that is not the optimal combo, but it is a combo that you can do. And the more that you keep playing the game is the more you will understand what stuff you can do with your combo. And then this is how you make your character optimal when you're playing against others. Thank you very much for watching this video. I really want to inspire other people to play King of Fighters and even make content and stream. So thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you learned something from the video. Hope you create content, stream. We have a Discord community, discord.gg slash kingjae. Make sure you lot join and talk all the great things about King of Fighters. Thanks for Kosh Media. Thanks to SNK as well for just looking at me to create content. I really appreciate it, man. Other than that, I hope you lot are interested in the game. And I have a lot of guides that are going to be coming out for the game as well. So make sure you lot subscribe. Don't miss out on the guides and the other content that's coming out for it. I will be streaming as well. I hope you lot see the next content that's going to be coming out for King of Fires. It's going to be a big one. Other than that, take ease, everyone. Peace. Simmer down, sip, sip it down. Sim, simmer now. Couple kicks to your boat. I'm a winner now. Like Eddie with the feet. I'm a killer now. Killer now. Killer now. Simmer down. Simmer now.